This is part 16 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss ng-include directive in Angular. The ng-include directive is used to embed an HTML page into another HTML page. This technique is extremely useful when you want to reuse a specific view in multiple pages of your application. The value for ng-include directive can be the name of the HTML page that you want to reuse. So in this example right here, employee list.html is the name of another HTML page that you want to reuse within your current HTML page. The value for this ng include directive can also be a property on the dollar scope object that points to the reusable HTML page. So in this example, employee list is a property on the dollar scope object that points to your reusable HTML page. Let's look at an example. So within the script.js file, we have our controller function. And within the controller function, we have this employee array, which at the moment contains five employee objects. And each employee object has got name, gender, and salary properties. We have attached the employee array to the dollar $scope object using this employees property, which is going to be the model for the view. Now, what we want to do is present this employees data using an HTML table. So for that, I'm actually going to add to this project another HTML page and I'm going to call it employee table.html. Now we want to reuse this employee table HTML page inside this HTML page 1.html. Now if you look at this employee table.html, it has got HTML head and body sections. We already have those sections within this HTML page 1.html. So what I'm going to do is remove all those sections from there and then simply use the table element. So within the table element, let's include a T head section and then TR and let's include three TH elements to display the column headers, name, gender, and salary. So within the first TH element, name, within the second th element gender and within the final th element salary let's include the t body section and within that let's include the tr element and on this tr element i'm going to use ng repeat directive and then loop through each employee in employees array which is our model and then we want to create a td within this td we want to display employee name Similarly, let's go ahead and display gender and salary property values. Gender and then salary. So we want to use this employee table.html within our HTML page 1.html. So with inside this development, I'm going to include another development. And on this, I'm going to use ng-include directive. And then the value now is going to be the name of another HTML page. So I'm going to specify that name within single quotes. Let's save all these changes. And when we reload this page, we should see the employee data presented using an HTML table. Now at the moment, the value for ng-include is the name of another HTML page. Now the value can also be a property on the dollar $scope object. Let's look at that now. So what I'm going to do is attach another property to this dollar $scope object. I'm actually going to call it employee view and then initialize that to the name of the HTML page that we want to reuse. And the name of that HTML page is employee table.html. So let's specify that as the value for this property employee view. And then within our HTML page 1.html, I can use this property employee view, which is pointing to that HTML page that we want to reuse. So since that is a property on the model, you shouldn't be using the single quotes. So I'm going to paste that property name right here, employee view. So let's save the changes. And when we reload this page, it should work exactly as before. Now let's look at another example. So here is what we want to do. On our page, we want a drop-down list which says select view. And within the drop-down list, we want to have two options, table and list. If the user selects table as the view, then we want to present the same employee data using a table. If the user selects list, then present that employee data using two unordered lists as you can see here. Let's see how easy it is to achieve this using ng-include directive. So the first thing that we want to do is add another HTML page to our project. And I'm going to call this employee list.html because here we are using a list to present the employee data. Again, I'm going to remove the 
HTML we already have and simply going to use an unordered list and on this unordered list element I'm going to again use the ng repeat directive and use the same expression for each employee in employees what do we want to do we want to create a list item and within that list item we want to display the name of the employee and then we also want another unordered list basically to display the gender and salary for that employee so I'm going to copy that binding expression and paste it right there and change the property name to gender similarly let's include another list item and change the property to salary so we have two views now employee table employee list both of the views presenting employee data using different controls employee table dot HTML presenting it using a table employee list presenting it using an unordered list now the next step is to include a drop-down list on our HTML page one dot HTML so inside this development just about this development I'm going to include this literal text which says select view and then let's specify a select element on this select element I'm going to use ng model directive the value for this directive is going to be this property right here on the scope object employee view and let's include two options the first option value is going to be employee table dot HTML which presents the employee data using an HTML table so this is the value that we want our user to say and let's include another option and here the view is going to be employee list dot HTML and let's change the display text to list so we have our drop-down list there let's include another break element alright so if you look at the script look at this employee view the initial value is employee table dot HTML so when this web page first loads you know two things should happen within the drop-down list this option should be selected employee table dot HTML because the select element is using the same property as the model and then the data should be presented using a table let's look at that in action so let's reload this page and look at that table is selected within the drop-down list employee data is presented using an HTML table if I change the selection to list look at that the data is presented using two unordered lists Thank you for listening and have a great day.